What is it, Pocket? Is it get it? What is it? Do you get it? Oh my goodness. Guard dog. Guard dog on alert. You're afraid of stumps and logs. So we're gonna learn how to be amongst the woods. Good boy. Yeah, see another stump. Those will not eat you. Stumps do not eat horses. Oh, good boy. See, not so bad. No, oh my God. It's not flat ground. What do I do? I don't know, I'm a thoroughbred. I still only go on racetrack. You can do it. <laughs> was that scary? Oh my gosh, that was super scary. Lick and chew. Guess what? Go do it again. Go on. No. Go on. Get over there. You can do it. You can be brave. Good boy. Go on. Go on. Good boy. Come on. Now come back. I know. Come on. You have to learn how to be an all-terrain vehicle. Come on. Ah, that was a smart boy. Good boy. Think about that. Yeah. Think about it. No, it's in there. Waiting for that lick and chew. Where is it? There it is. Got it. Ha ha. set up today so it's good just to kind of get them on the trailer and go in places and getting their experience that way that's how you get the trailer broke <laughs> getting on the trailer a lot and learning to stand tied eating their hay it's just a good good place for the young horses to get educated here I am with Henry. I took advantage of the wash rack, had a fair amount of uh, water around it and kind of a bit of a muddy place. And Henry's pretty good about walking through mud, but he wasn't sure about the footing. So I just took the opportunity to use this as a little bit of a training session and just building his confidence for if something's not quite right, that it's, it's okay. And maintaining my bubble. You see, I had to tap him there. Uh, so he wouldn't take his shoulder and run me over with it. So I got him to where he was respecting my bubble and walking through and we ended up walking right in the wash rack with no problems or hesitations there. So it was a good boy there. I also like encouraging the horse's curiosity. So that's this environment was perfect for kind of helping create that confidence and encourage them to be curious about things. Ken, what are you doing? <laughs> like, what are you doing now? For Indy, this is a lot of stuff for him to take in. Uh, 
the day before, he really was overwhelmed by the atmosphere. So I was really quite happy with how he was the second day. He can tend to get really upset sometimes when, like here, he starts to get a little gate sour. And uh, his reaction sometimes to things when he's unsure and he loses his confidence is he just kind of completely shuts down and and uh, that's kind of a tricky spot sometimes when they get there because you have to be very careful with how much pressure you put, especially when you're on them. So here I hop off and I'm sending him forward because he's just sticky footed. So I'm just telling him to send forward no matter what he does going sideways. It doesn't bother me. Just as, as soon as I get that those feet to go forward, I'll take that little bit of pressure I'm putting on him off. And so I had previously taken him through this little obstacle course already um, in hand. So this wasn't the first time that he got to see some of this stuff. It was just he and his brain still uses that as a bit of a way to try to get out of stuff. And I'm just trying to teach him that he can trust me and that he can move forward with his feet and um, everything's going to be okay. So the main reason, too, why I'm on him bareback and just a halter is so I can kind of hop off and direct him on the ground. And then I can hop back right, right back on because that really helps connect the brain a little bit. And I was really pleased at how he was with the dragging the cone. Uh, I didn't attempt it on his back. I felt like that would have been too much. And for him prior, I had, again, I had exposed him to this cowboy curtain. And he starts to do his little shut down little hissy fit thing. So I hop off, try to get the, mo the momentum to go forward. And he goes through. And so today I was just going to take it. You know, any time I could get him to keep his brain moving forward, keep his feet kind of moving and not get stuck, I was just going to take advantage of it. So now that we're nearing the end of the obstacle course, he is starting to move nice and free and forward and gaining some confidence. And I was really happy with how he was. That was actually a little teeter-totter and he had no problem with that. And then... He finally starts to engage in his brain and learn to get a little brave here. And this really was good. I'm starting to pat him on the side. I was really happy with how he ended up, but he's got a lot of work to do. Next up was Henry, and I had not previously taken him through these obstacles yet. Uh, so he really was a rock star of the weekend. He seemed to really enjoy kind of being out in the atmosphere and learning he's a pretty fun horse as far as he's pretty brave he's still learning and has some confidence issues about some things but uh for the most part he he's a pretty kind of i always called him cocky in the beginning when i first got him and now his curiosity is really starting to come out which is really fun in the horses um so I've at home, you know, practiced. He's had to do some of the stuff. I pony the horses off of him and do a lot of stuff bareback. And so this was a good test to kind of see other things that I needed to work with on him. But I was really happy with how he was kind of trying to listen to me and trusting me and his overall behavior of walking and building up the relaxation. Now with the cone, he did have... Um, some fear about the cone so I was working on getting his confidence up and he did not like it when it was being drugged behind him but for the most part I felt secure in working him this way you know, he was still listening to me he wasn't you know being overly scared he was just reacting so I'm just working him on this circle talking to him helping him understand and anytime he would stop to look at it I made sure to not drag the cone to his face because that's pretty scary um, so here he's just getting used to the ropes he's always been a little sensitive about his hind end so it's you know currently a work in progress but he's starting here just uh, handling the pressure and he's starting to bridge the gap a little bit so again I'm just getting him to kind of 
walk in that circle. And there, I have control to where if I move him towards the inner side of the circle, I can take the pressure off like there and the cone doesn't move very much. And then I can make him walk and start to pull it a little more. So you're able to, once you get the initial, <laughs> well, then there's the kick out to it. But it was just one kick out and then he was like, okay, I have figured it out. Um, so I felt like he was in, good, in a good place. And then I hopped on to kind of just reiterate what we had done on the ground so he can start to build the confidence. And again, you see here, I'm trying not to pull the cone towards him when it's directed towards his face or his shoulder. Um, once they learn that they can drag it behind them, then you can graduate with them backing up and pulling it towards them. But um, here he really starts to figure it out. He's got one ear on me. He's still, he's still not 100% sure, but um, he's willing to, to try to hear me out on it. So I just go and I change directions. He gets a little worried, but listens. And <clears throat> the bit that I have in him is a very soft, it's just a rubber bit. So I, in fact, have a fair amount of control. And if he gets upset, you know, there's no, I'm pretty happy with how he's responding to everything. So... We're doing a nice lateral movement here. Sometimes in horse training, it's just about taking advantage of what the horse is going to give you. So I just found a good spot and I got him to come over, stand by the fence. He stood pretty quiet while I moved the, the cone up, which for him, patience has been something we've been working on. Um, so he's a little wiggly, but overall, I was happy with him with this exercise and just getting him to walk off relaxed. The, the biggest part in teaching these thoroughbreds is kind of the in-between. They can be brave, but they have to also be relaxed. So this was another, it's kind of simulating a gate, opening a gate, which I have like to have all my horses be able to do. He actually handled this task pretty well. It was kind of awkward, um, but he listened and kind of walked around it. And next was the curtain, which I wasn't quite sure how he was going to handle it, but he's so kind of brave that he figured he could just go through it and be better. And he loves going off the banks. Um, he got to do one yesterday and he just went straight forward to it. And now this exercise, we had to back up through these coops, which he wasn't quite sure of the coops, um, but I was really happy with how soft he backed and um, he was just waiting patiently for me. He really has grown a lot uh, as far as mentally he before he couldn't have handled any of this type of pressure and got really brave over the teeter-totter. I was really proud of him and sometimes he gets a little gate sour but he's figuring that out. And this exercise was kind of funny. He didn't understand. He thought he was supposed to jump this. And this is, again, another kind of gait exercise. So I, I was just kind of laughing at him because he was doing what he was, thought he was supposed to do, which was try to jump it. So I, I ended up just pushing it so he would understand that I could just lean over and push it, and he had to move towards it, which he then figured it out, figured out what the game was, and... I was so happy with how he really handled himself and these little shows like this are just great for these horses to gain experience and really learn how to become confident horses. So it was a great day. Jumping apparently. Oh god. What did you do? What are you doing? Are you playing? Are you bored? Good that boy. Was, that was a good reaction. You are so
Silly goose. Silly! 